Geeft een geweldig applaus aan Tallahassee, Grand Peoples. I am going to start out with a poem that's from uh, my new poetry book. And this is called, God Speaks to the American People About Their President. <laughs> Remember, there is a little bit of him in every one of you. Indeed, I begat him from your whores of industry and commerce, where he was conceived in a womb of affluence and grew in an amniotic sack of indifference to those less fortunate than he. Presently, he has evolved into everything I could have ever imagined, here, now, among you, manifest in fattened flesh and hair product. In the beginning, I envisioned him the great metaphor of the human species, a burnt orange emblem mounted on its hood of destruction and a patron saint for all your tribal afflictions like the compulsive need of enemies and their scalps your brooding self-worship your incestuous cultural intrigue and the paradox of you being able to create a brilliant symbol but then being unable to distinguish it from what it symbolizes in the print shop, your man sets the type for the counterfeiters of history. And on the battlefield, he is the platoon leader of the knee jerkers and sock counters, the masked torturers who wield your flag. Obsessive, neurotic, fixated, compulsive, irrational, myopic, and sociopathic. I bred him for his bulk, his squint, his contorted lip and his deformed little hands and also for his taste which you will find right there in his profane mouth embrace him as the Christ that you so covet he is yours to be your redeemer as you see fit I made him in your own image not mine This is a song that I wrote for the American people after the election. Well, it could be a long night. It might be a while before we see the light. A day again, tell me now. Are you down? Are you down to do this thing? How deep is your faith? How strong is your belief? It could be a long night. I mean, this could really knock some time off your clock. You know what I'm saying? I'm not playing. I like a melting candle of pain. You're gonna need to burn away every little thing that no longer matters. Cause it could be a long night. I mean, I'm talking about your sanity. Talking about your safety These are illusions that you will see Long before you ever see the light Everything you ever cared about Everything you thought you'd never doubt All of this will be driven out the leviathan of authoritarianism that we now face, my friend. There will be clouds of foreign entanglements and reams of alternative facts. Executive orders will be issued to round up the opposition. And military parades will rumble through the streets of our nation's capital and babies will be ripped from the arms of their mothers along our borders. And going up against this will Take some physical and spiritual courage. So get ready. Well, it could be a long night. I'm talking about your dignity. I'm talking about your safety. Well, these are illusions, as you will see. This 
could be driven out. Thank you. 
side I stood out and looked clear And it ain't no big thing Me leaving this earthly plane You see I'm not afraid of leaving here So shake my head you can wash my feet These are gonna be the, the last words I speak You can tell that fella Through the window to make his move And cure these, these lethal injections I moved back to the United States. I had never been a performer before. I was 50 years old when I began doing this. And, uh, and my moving back to America was the thing that got me going as a songwriter because when I moved back there, I saw so many things that I found disturbing. And I wanted to write about them. And so I picked up a guitar and got started. And this is the first song I wrote uh, when I moved back. It's actually kind of a poem that's uh, set to music. It's called Grant's Talking Blues. Well, I'm the kind of fella that doesn't talk much. I usually stay in my seat and keep my mouth shut. The last couple of years, I started getting depressed. The popular culture had me all upset. For a while there, I, I thought I was going to fold. I was starting to wig, I was losing control. So I set upon a self-therapeutic move, and I picked up my guitar and I wrote Grant's Talking Blues. And there were narcissists on the left and fundamentalists on the right, and madmen in the middle, not a savior in sight. I was overwhelmed by the lies and the danger, and the doom. Your king had no clothes, and there was an elephant. I seen coddled kids indulged in obese relate to the world through computer screens, oblivious to the demise of our fragile planet and how the economy was killing it. They were just trying to expand it. I seen the, the love of money had a nominal effect upon who your kids were and how they would act. No, it was the worship of money that was sinking that ship made them soft and self-centered, spiritually unfit. Well, there was hip-hop and NASCAR and American Idol and iPods and porn stars and virtual battles. Immediate gratification hummed a collective groan, promenading through shopping malls while there was a war going on. You've been duped and screwed by unscrupulous minions who gave away the store and stole the election. They started that war under false pretenses, then abandoned justice and our poor soldiers in the trenches. I started searching for answers like a starving dog, digging 
seeing through this culture in search of a bone, something to hold on to, something I could believe in, something to make sense of all the madness I was seeing. Yeah, but all that was there was sentimentality and patriotic blindness and religious banality. Flag-waving fools that pawned the future. Now they were losing their grip, but still digging in deeper. Yeah, the American experiment, it was on the rocks, all high on its fumes and deeply in hot, stumbling forward through expanding bandwidth while leaving a hideous stain on our national canvas. You see, it's just a ball building culture. It was in denial. Global warming kicked up, they just turned the dial. Bought bigger SUVs, burned coal, fertilized their lawn. But integrity's like virtue, man. You can't just turn it off and on. Anyhow, it was too late. I despaired and turned inward. Which for me, pathologically, is a dangerous venture. But I was lost and unbalanced. Things were terribly wrong. Thank God I found an antidote by writing these songs. And so that's what I do these days to try to keep my sanity. I know this whole touring folk singer thing kind of comes across like vanity. But after 50 years of living, I finally see how things work. You live life forward. But you have to figure it out in reverse. And so America's a broken dream and civilization's a bust. But I've learned to manage my disappointment and mistrust. And that's the point of this song. That's the gist of all my tunes. And that's why this one got called Grant's Talking Blue. La -da -da. Het ontspaalde spelen staat in de Amen. Dank u wel, John. En ik zag dat Chris Blevens is gearriveerd, dus misschien staat er even een soundcheck voordat Chris gaat.